These are the prototypes of a flying car manufactured by U.S.-based Aleph Aeronautics that has received an approval by the U.S. authorities to conduct its first test flight. So first time something which is a traditional car and on top of that an electric car was allowed by U.S. governments through FAA, a vertical takeoff for the limited purposes. But that means that um, flying cars in the traditional sense are now recognized, at least by one government. But strict limits would be imposed on the flight itself. A video released by the company shows the electric car taking off in a vertical direction and then flying over an obstacle and finally landing back on the road. I want to be clear that nobody's going to fly over London anytime soon. That's not going to happen, right? It's very limited, uh, very safe locations and very limited purposes for which we can fly. The company's activities will be limited to research and development until they get full certification from the FAA. If everything goes as planned, Aleph Aeronautics claimed their flying car could hit the market by late 2025 with a price tag of $300,000. In fact, they've recently announced having already received some 2,500 pre-orders for the vehicle. The so-called Model A is expected to have an aerial range of 177 kilometers, but it would first have to pass a long list of safety regulations. We're trying to make it safer than any helicopter or airplane which is flying today. Safer. And in some cases, even in uh, some cars on the ground. Being trapped in a traffic jam on the road will still likely be our reality for the near future. But this is what some inventors in the Silicon Valley are envisioning in the longer run. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles.